Okay, so there's a lot around the, what this space is, right? The, there's a lot of politics in that. And, right, yeah, and right now there's a lot of politics regarding what this space is being identified as because mostly the reaction of uh, media around the world and the um, kind of extreme uh, assumptions regarding what people here are doing. Someone, uh, I guess allegedly an independent artist just came and brought this ladder and installed this sign on this, um, this wooden street post. And um, about an hour ago, there were many people that were up and speaking and talking about how they didn't want to identify this as an autonomous zone because of the uh, media backlash we've been receiving. And another half of the, the crowd here um, is arguing that uh, there should be um, this expression of free speech and that people should be allowed to put up what they want. Um, the point I was trying to bring to everyone is that we need a council and the, the community is, for all being represented as one, need to agree to what messages we're um, spreading and sharing. So that's what you see going on right now. There's a lot of like um, conflict in the air right now, a lot of people watching this one sign. Um, I've heard a lot of different things so far. Some people think that the sign was put up through um, detractors and infiltrators, people trying to discredit the movement, um, and you seem to be... I actually met the guys when it happened. There's not there's not many people here that uh they had good intentions. I think it was just caught up in the energy at yeah. the moment of like wow we just these are our streets now. But they didn't know it would run away as a hashtag. Right. Right, yeah, and like a lot of people here were saying that uh it became national news before it came local. And um so what's at stake in all this? And, and yeah, I mean, I, I I see it better just so, so you can express it. Well, to me, what's at stake is um, really a world by which like people are able to um, properly express themselves and by which they have um, freedom to support and build community in public. I think that there's what's going on right now is that. Um, there's worry that this is going to be considered an unlawful assembly, and so there's this focalization, this is a protest, and not um, an autonomous zone, and not a resistance, or um, revolu not revolutionary, but um, you know, an act of sovereignty. Um, and that's because people here want to be seen as credible, and what's going on is that a lot of the community has actually come together to be able to support independent businesses, feed people, and share art and opinions, which really, um, the sharing of ideas is the most important, in my opinion. Truth, I, I agree completely with you. Um, so this is a moment where this is like, I think it seems like it, what's at stake is that, you know, like you said, the ma like the whole world is watching this and misjudging what's clear because there's been a freedom of ideas. There's been discussion about what to do next through this movement, hearing you know leaders like yourself and people here talk about it and share. And the autonomous zone got affiliated with the idea of um, everything Fox News, etc. Has affiliated right. with the armed militia and uh, and and um, domestic terrorism. Are yeah. the, the essential media I, I labels communism. Yeah, juggling, juggling. <laughs> that's awesome. Communism, I've heard, which is like, yeah. yeah, I mean, a lot of people seem to be seeing this as a joke. Even some people here seem to be seeing it as a joke. Um, not really in the sense that um, it's what's going on isn't serious, but in that people aren't taking it seriously and they're approaching it to be more of a. We're seeing it as more of a party when they arrive than a movement. And I think what people really need to be focusing on is um, the. The rate by which people have organized and provided the amenities necessary for people to to commune in public. And what are your feelings about like goals in the the Black Lives Matter movement that like, you know Indigenous people of color like how could how is this an opportunity and what what do you hope what do you wish for this whole crowd right now? Um, I really hope that with any sort of uh, political or economic changes that come. We can come to develop some public services and um, legislative rights regarding technology and recognizing it as a public um, and human right and a natural resource. And I hope that maybe we can come to see how much media is influencing people's behavior. And um, especially the situation right now is a perfect example that like half the crowd doesn't want to be seen a certain way and the other half of the crowd it wants to be a little bit less cautious in terms of the public opinion. Um, and I think that 
we need to build some new public services that are um, in recognition of the society we live in where technology is in need um, and that acknowledges the divide that it's creating internationally and locally between different economies and um, people of spiritual belief and um, different political opinion. What do you see as the potential? Like, what if we did? What if we did? What could we do right now and rally the energy to? Well, honestly, um, what I see the biggest potential for is um, migration and, and mass exodus, um, and not in terms of uh, sovereignty or trying to um, break away from what we've already created, but in a sense of trying to evolve it in something that's inclusive and sustainable, um, and values things like. Um, not just state-run education, but public education, independent business, and travel. Um, particularly travel is a big, big part of it, and I think the biggest potential that we have here is ideally people um, not necessarily moving out of the cities, but having the opportunity to experience um, new parts of the world and gain new perspectives. I think our government and every government needs to be run by people that have cultured international perspectives of the world, and that can't be gained just through going to, um, th through diplomats going to political meetings and conferences around the world. You have to gain understanding of other cultures through direct immersion and experience. We have to consider that the people that are going to be creating our laws are the younger generations. So we need to make travel to other places in the world accessible and encouraged. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, this is part of the, this is part of like. A a movement with so many voices trying to find its voice too and, and I think there it was a voice that created this and it was to stand up. Actually I'm gonna let, let this happen, just focus on what's happening. doesn't want the sign that's dumb as fuck. Isn't that the whole thing? Isn't that the problem in the first place? Isn't that the problem in the fucking first place? Isn't that the problem in the fucking first place? Yeah. I see y'all talking in the back. Remember why you fucking here. These signs don't mean shit. These words don't mean shit. Your actions do. All that took was a couple screws and a piece of metal that we printed some shit on. That don't mean anything. Figure out why you're fucking here. Thank you. You're wasting fucking time. Thank you. you guys should yes. be signing petitions. Yes. But no, you out here arguing yes. about a fucking sign no. in front of a precinct Bro. that they Bro. about to take back Bro. if you keep no. bullshitting. Stop, stop. What Bro. are you doing? Look, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah.